Hi everyone, what's up? It's Joshua here from Alternative Brewing. And today we're gonna to be making delicious lattes and tasty cappuccinos using Bialette's two cup mucha express. Now the Bialette mucha is an all aluminium, durable and somewhat humorous stovetop espresso maker that has been modified by Bialette to include an additional pressure valve and kind of steam arm design in the top chamber. So as the coffee brews up to the top chamber, there's an added pressure that the espresso is then released into the top chamber with the force needed to mix the foam and the milk and the espresso all together, creating that foamy delicious texture you love in your lattes and cappuccinos. And then all you have to do is pour it straight out. The Mucha Express will work on gas and electric stovetops and is the ideal mocha pot for making one or two milky coffees in the morning. You can have this thing set depending on how much foam you enjoy as well. So are you a cappuccino person or are you a latte person? If you want to get your hands on one of these Bialetti Mukas, you can follow this shop link up above right here. But for now, let's jump straight in and brew using the two cup Bialetti Mucha. So to begin with, you want to fill up the bottom heating vessel with water and it's recommended to use a measuring cup that comes with the mucha. So you have two different levels with the water. If you're using a gas stove, you want to use one cup filled to the line here. And for electric stoves, use two cups and fill to the line here. Or if you don't have the cup, you can reference the two lines found inside the water vessel or by measuring out 150 mils of water for the gas stove or 350 mils of water for the electrical stove. Next, we're gonna fill up our coffee basket. And in using the correct amount of coffee, I just usually fill the basket full of coffee beans and then grind them out that way. But if you're gonna be measuring out your beans first, it holds approximately 18 grams or two and a half tablespoons. You wanna grind your coffee nice and fine, similar to an espresso grind. Place the grounds in the basket and pat them down nice and gently, but not too hard. Place the filter basket on top of the water vessel, ensuring that there's no grinds sitting in around the rim, as we wanna make sure that there's a nice tight seal when we screw down the top cow chamber to the bottom. So as I'd mentioned earlier, there are two settings with the Mucha. You can press the button down up top for cappuccinos or lift it up slightly, it'll lock into place for lattes. So next, add your preferred milk to the top of the chamber, making sure it doesn't go above the line seen inside there. Any further than that, and you'll end up with a mess later on. Close the lid and then place it on the stove on a medium heat. You don't want your water to boil too fast here, so the aim is to have it on a steady heat that lets the pressure slowly rise, and then the water will gradually percolate through your bed of coffee. And you'll know when the mucha is ready, as you'll hear that distinct pop of the pressure valve opening. And that's when it's beginning to steam the milk in with the espresso. So you do wanna keep that lid down whilst it's brewing, but I need you guys to see what happens inside. It's really cool and it happens really quickly as it all mixes in. Now you should turn off the heat and remove it from the stove once the espresso and milk begin mixing. And then give it a moment to settle down steaming before you then pour it out into your cups. And it's that easy to enjoy a delicious creamy latte or foamy cappuccino in using the mucha. In cleaning the mucha, you do want to take special care and attention with the pressure knob and the steam wand up top as there is milk passing in and around it. Now this is removable, so you want to remove that after every use and give it a good rinse to avoid any milk scum buildup. And otherwise, the mucha is just like any other stovetop. Wait for it to cool down before removing all the parts, knock out your coffee, give it a good rinse and then dry before you put it back together. And that's the Bialette Two Cup Mucha Express for you. It's a very popular mocha pot. It makes very creamy cappuccinos and lattes, great for two people, and comes with Bialette's reliable manufacturing. So if you have any questions on the Bialette Two Cup Mucha Express, then throw them in the comments section below and we'll get straight back to you. Don't forget to hit that little bell icon on your screen and that way you stay notified when we bring out new videos just like this every week. If you've enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.